Oh, snap. Hey, Bay. I know you probably sleep right now. That's why you didn't pick up. But just call me when you're up, okay? I love you. Wow. You ain't pick up again? Okay. All right. Well, have fun doing what you're doing because I know you're doing something else. Just you don't got to act like you're not there, but whatever. Wow. Okay. I hope she love you, Trey. I hope she love you. Okay? Do you? Cause I'm a do me! Cause I'm a do me! I got your mom in the trunk, Trey! I got her in the trunk! So you better pick up the phone! Pick up the phone! I'm gonna do something real stupid! I'm gonna do something! Pull over the call! This is a collect call from an inmate in Jackson County Correctional Facility. Yeah, babe, I, I need Belle, babe. I need Belle. Your, your mom is okay. They, they got her off the trunk. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just, I was tripping. I was tripping. I'm sorry. But I, I, need, I need you to come get me. I need you to come get me. Okay, Mark, Kelly, you guys ready? Let's do it. I'm ready. Good. Trey, Trey, is your camera ready? Y yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you guys, I'm going to count down from three, and we're going to start. All right. Three, two. One, action. Uh-huh. Look back at it. Like that. Keep going. Uh-huh. Like that. Can we call cut? Like, he, he's looking me dead in my face right now, bro. No, he is not, Trey. Just keep recording. He's looking at the camera. Come on. Good job, Mark. A plus strokes. Hey, Trey, go go record his backside. Record from the back position. I don't, I don't think nobody want to see that. Trey, guy. Trey, go record from his back. I know the shots. I know. There we go. Yes. Okay. Now, Trey, zoom in on his balls. Zoom in on the balls, Trey. <clears throat> Bro, I don't, I don't even Trey, know it's necessary. Like zoom in on the balls. Zoom in on the balls. Bro, nope, nobody's gonna click on the video to see Zoom it. Zoom on the balls! Get the ball straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get the flap. That's the flap right there. That's the flap. They're gonna go crazy. That's good. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. And that is it, you guys. That is it. All right, you can, you can stop, guys. That Woo! was just perfection. Good job, Mark. Thank you. Good job, Kelly. Thank you. That, that was that was great. That was great. And good job, you too, Trey. Good job on them balls. Um, I want to film the next shot. It's going to be the climax. I want to film a first-person point-of-view shot from the girl position. Trey, you'll be filming that, of course. And uh, Mark, I'm going to have you finish on the camera. That That's just that's going to be the shot. I, I I just it's gonna be amazing and um no nah, no nah, I'm not I'm not gonna do that yeah uh, yeah yeah you will all right so um Mark you're, you're down you're down with that sounds okay. good to me bro, bro I'm not I'm not gonna you, do that you, yes you are Trey you're, you're gonna do that um this, this is gonna be great you guys this is gonna hey, be yo. so uh Trey get on your knees um Mark load up the cannon I'm not go yeah yes no, yes I'm yes get on get on your knees Trey and uh, no I'm not. hey get get on your knees and um we're gonna I'm, start I'm not finna do that like, oh yeah you're, you're you're finna do it. That's what you're finna do. So um, get on your knees. Um, Chill out, yeah, yeah. Get on your knees, and he's gonna finish. Chill out. Get on your knees. He's gonna finish. Hey man, uh, sorry to bother you, but um, what's up? Do you know where Richmond Park is? Oh yeah, yeah. I know how to get there. Listen, all you gotta do is, bro, keep going straight down that road. Okay. Right? You keep going straight, and then when you get to that stop sign, you make a left. You make a. Oh, you trying to fight right now, bro? What? <laughs> no, because you you rolling up your oh, sleeve, no, bro. No. Like, you, you trying to fight, bro? Like, I'm from Dunzeldorf, bro. We, we do not play like that. When niggas roll up their sleeves, bro, that means no, you trying no, to fight. No, no, I'm so sorry. What's, what's I, I, I was not trying to come across like that. I was just I was just straightening my shirt, man. I, I wasn't trying to offend you in any way, man. I was just straightening my shirt. I wasn't rolling up my sleeves. <laughs> it's, a, it's a short sleeve anyway, so. 
O R O R. But yeah, um, you keep going straight uh, till you get to the stop sign. You get to the stop sign, then you make a left, then you go all the way straight until you get to this church. And nigga, why are you steering oh, it? Oh, bro? I, I'm sorry, I was. Why are you steering it? Like, bro, don't like stop playing, bro. I'm from Dunsdorf, bro. Like when niggas stare at you in your eyes, that means you, you try to assert dominance. No, on no, me. man, no. That's what you trying to do. You, 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 you want to make me feel small, right? That's what you're doing. Cause, cause that means you want to fight, bro. So what's up? Listen, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that was disrespect. You know where you come from. I, I, I don't even know where that place is, man. I, I didn't mean anything by it. I was just, I was just listening to you. I, I, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. No, no disrespect, man. All right. But yeah, you go straight till you see this church. Park right across from the church, bro. Okay, cool. Um, thank you for um helping me. Uh, I'll be on my way. Uh, I hope you have a good day, man. No problem. You too. Okay, take care. What? Yo, who are you talking? No, nah, hold on. No, nah, cause, nah, cause who are you talking to, bro? How was you carrying a dumbbell in jean pockets? Don't worry about that. No, listen, that is not what I was like. I'm to from Dunsdorf, bro. You don't tell niggas that, bro. You telling me to take care, bro. You telling a grown man to take care. You you telling me what to do. That's what you're doing when you say that. So so I'm not taking care of enough. You 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 my dad. You you I'm you sorry. My boss we, now? we do like, not have to up, escalate bro? this. I don't know what what you use that for, but we don't we don't have to escalate this, man. I, I'm I ain't have to I'm use sorry. that in five days, and I just was able to get it clean, bro. So okay, I don't want to have to use. Sorry, it. man. I'm listen. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just go, and you don't have to worry about me, bro. I'm I'm so sorry. I, Straight Dunsendorf nigga, bro. Stop playing. Oh my god, it's late. Let me head back to my crib. No, nah, no, nah, it's cool. You can stay like ten more minutes. You can just chill. You don't, you don't gotta be in no rush. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's late, huh? <laughs> you know, normally around this time, like I have like a shorty over, like just give me head, like for real. No, for real. Like right on, right on the couch too. Okay, like, literally, okay. Like, right around this time. Like, I don't got nobody today though. So I wish I did. <laughs> like, if I did, I would accept it. Like, like if it was offered to me, like literally right now, I would accept it. But yeah, you know, what I wish we had. I wish we had like like some holes like just lined up in front of us, just. Just twerking, you know? <laughs> <laughs> For real, like throwing it. For real. Yeah, that'd be fire. <laughs> right. Like then you could go join them too, and then then you start shaking it. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing though. Just playing. Hey, hey, we should play true for dare. True for dare. Yeah, like you know, it's like it's late. I mean, might as well like we bored. I mean, just a past time, you know. All right, all right, let's do it. All right, true for dare. I'm gonna do a dare. Dare. I dare you to make it clip. What? Come on, y'all. I'm sick of acting, bro. I'm sick of acting. Acting like what? Acting like you a nigga. You're you're not. You're not a nigga, bro. All right. It don't matter how many different do rags you wear, how many Air Jordans that you wear. I, I, I just, I'm not going to let it distract me from the fact that you think. Like, I'm sick of acting like I don't see it. Bro, bro, pause, bro. Do not a nigga. Listen, bro, I, I'm, I'm done acting like I ain't see you try to sneak a pad into the bathroom last month. Talking about it's an ice cream sandwich. Like, no, like, I'm not stupid, bro. I'm done pretending. I dare you to make it clutch. With maximum efficiency. Where you want to go? You want to go to the playground? <gasps> yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Hey, that's your son? Yeah. Hey, what's up, little man? How you doing today? Hey, I'm okay. Just okay? Yeah. Hey, wow. Well, I could do something that could make you feel better. You just got to follow B. What? Oh, I mean, you can come too and watch, of course. <laughs> I just thought little man looked a little rough. Just wanted to make him feel good. What you mean make him feel good, bro? Oh, okay. All right, I, I, I can see how this can be confusing. Listen, it's okay, I, I'm, I'm a child groomer. What? Listen, I haven't had nobody in a while, so I just wanted your son's head. Like, nigga! Nigga, you like little kids, bro? 
You like little boys, you weirdo? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 bro, what? I'm a barber. I'm a barber for kids, man. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you word it like that? Like, what the hell is wrong with your approach, nigga? What are you talking about? That's how I always approach. Like, that's why nobody get their hair cut by you, nigga. Like, you got to change that up, bro, because that's not going to work. That, that's not going to work, my nigga. This show has been an amazing experience so far. Like, if I was talking to the old me, would I ever think I would go on a show and fall in love with somebody without ever seeing their face? Like, it's crazy, but I'm just so excited to finally be able to meet the love of my life. Oh my god! What the f***? Why did y'all do that? Um, what are you talking about, Trey? You, you know what I'm talking about. Why, why did y'all do that to me? Why me? I, we didn't do anything. I don't... I don't know what you're Why talking Why did y'all do that? Trey, you're not really making sense right now. We didn't Why did y'all do, do that? Oh my God. You're my husband. <laughs> y'all playing with me, bro. Y'all play. Bro, I watched the show. I watched the show. That's why I came on here every season. Y'all niggas had baddies, uh, baddies. Why me? Why me? Y'all know what y'all was doing. So, where's my ring? <laughs> like proposed to me, right? <laughs> um, uh, like, I think I left it. I think I left it in the other room. I'm, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna go get it. Stop playing. I see it in your hand right there. Stop playing. Trey, can you please explain why did you do that to the ring? What did I do? You know what you did. <laughs> Why are you taking so long? Like, come on, give me the ring. <laughs> come on, babe. <laughs> come on. Did you just swallow the ring, nigga? I don't care, bro. Listen, y'all can look at me however y'all want, bro. Listen, when y'all back somebody into a corner and you had their back against the wall, like, niggas gonna take drastic measures, bro. Like, all right. I did what I did, and when I poop it out, I am returning that ring, getting my money back. I don't care. What the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> Listen, I, I'm sorry, but um, I think this is um, I think this is a big mistake. I don't I don't think you know we're as in love as we said we was. You know, I feel like we're really we're really rushing things. You know, what? Are you serious? You you said that you love me for who I am. Remember, you said that. You said love is blind. You said that. You said love is blind. I no, no, you did say that. You said love was blind. So don't even try to lie. You said that. All right, all right, you all right. Okay, listen. I said love is blind. I never said love was cross-eyed, nigga. Wow. Really, Trey? Really? Yeah, y'all going to tell me I wasn't thinking that? Like, hey, hey, I see the, produ hey, the producer no, laughing. No, no, I sneeze. Hey, the producer sneeze. laughing back there. Nigga. Trey, that wasn't right. Hey, but, um, like, listen, bro. For real. Okay, like, come on. Come on, bro. Y'all y'all, really tripping if y'all thought I was really going to marry her. Um, But yeah, uh, how much we getting paid for this show? Do y'all pay us? Trey, we're going to need you to leave our studio. Okay. Here you go, Trey. Thank you, Mom. Go ahead and read your card. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> <laughs> I didn't even. It's <laughs> just a little something. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, Thank try. You. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, Cuzzo. What's up, Cuzzo? Time to open up my card, man. Open up mine. Okay. Hey, it's the same card as your mom's, but I wrote something special. Okay. <laughs> What you doing? I, I don't think you read it though. I, I wrote like a long. Like, <laughs> I read it. Where's Where's the money? <laughs> what you mean the money? What are you What are you talking about, Trey? Where Where's the money though? <laughs> I mean, I, I ain't putting no money in it, you know, because you know how it is, man. It's, it's where rough. Where's Where's the money? The economy been rough, man. I like I, I just ain't had. Okay. Where's Where's hey, the yo, money? Hey yo, was Give that me the money? Give me the money. Yo. Y'all know you're not doing Give all this. Money. Like, bro, like, we family, bro. Like, bro, 
bro, bro. Like, come on, cuz. Where, where's the money? I, I know you didn't just show up with a card. So, so where's, where's the money? Man, today not even about that, bro. Like, it, it's the Lord's day, man. Nigga, you like, about to spend his birthday with him. Come on. Where's man, the money? I just don't have it. Like, it's just give, like. Give my I, money, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. For real. Bro, like, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Like, I just. Bro. You telling me you can't get me. real? I don't. I have know you got a wallet on you. I know you got money in your wallet, bro. I know oh, you got money man. in your wallet, bro. Bro, you can't I give don't. me nothing. I don't. Nothing. I don't, bro. Like I swear, bro. On my on my son, bro. I don't have no money okay. on me. Cash at me. Cash at Come me. Come on, yo. I cash at you last month. I know you got cash at. Cash at. Come me. on, man. Like you really about cash at me, bro. Cash at me, bro. Cash. All right, nigga. Okay. Dang, I got bills this month, nigga. Like, then you gonna do that to your little cousins, bro? You can spend a month without lights. Wow. All right, bro. All right, you got it. You got it. I'm gonna send it to you. Here, here, nigga. This is what you want? This is what you want? Here. Take it. Take it, bro. Just know we not family no more. <laughs> okay. Nah. <laughs> Anybody else got anything else? Nah, I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. Come on, don't leave. No more don't forget leave. this nigga, bro. Forget him. Okay. And the story is very devastating. Now to you, Garrett. Yes, devastating indeed, Kelly. I am currently outside of the recently burnt down house where it is said that a single mother was cooking breakfast for her sleeping daughter before the house went up in flames. And I'm sad to tell you guys that the child did pass away. Um, oh, oh, here is the mother of that accident right here. Um, hi, how you doing? I'm Garrett from Nitty Gritty News. Um, can we please just get you know, uh, your side of what happened in the situation and how did the fire start? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just, I was making her breakfast. I put the bacon on the stove. It was literally on there for a few minutes and, and the stove just, just went into flames. I couldn't even control it. I don't understand. Like it was literally like four pieces of bacon. How does it feel that your daughter became the fifth piece? The, the fifth piece of bacon. How, how does it feel that your daughter became the fifth piece of bacon that you cooked today? What the f***? Whoa, um, that was very vulgar. I'm sorry for that. Hopefully you guys beat that out back at the station. Um, But I'm sorry, ma'am. Um, I'm Garrett from Nitty Gritty News, and we like to get into the nitty gritty of the situation. We like to get into the mindset of the people that we're interviewing, so... Yeah, we just want you to, you know, explain to your uh, best ability. Do you think it'll be easier now making breakfast without a daughter? Get the hell out of my face! Get out of my face! Um, um she seems you? very upset right now, guys. So we'll have to get back to the story later. But I just heard news in my ear of the famous two-leg shelter dog named Shelby has just given birth to a litter of puppies. And even though we just lost a child today, America just gained five more. What? Back to you, Kelly. Are you? Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Hey, Bay. Hey, what's going on, Bay? Hey, what's up, man? Who's this? What do you mean? It's my friend. You said I was gonna meet your friend today, and you said her name was Tori. Um, I never said I had a friend that her name was Tori. I said I have a friend named Tori. This is Tori, and we're friends. How? How long exactly uh -huh. have you? Uh, what was that sound? I didn't hear anything, too. What sound? I didn't hear anything. Uh, how long exactly have y'all been friends? I've known Tori since we was kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since like sixth grade. <laughs> uh, listen, I just I didn't uh -huh. exp look back. Um, I didn't expect that. Yo, 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 what are y'all doing, yo? What are you talking about? Nigga, what's that clapping sound, yo? You clapping my girl? What? Clapping me? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You think that every time you turn away, we are having sex behind your back? You think that we're having sex in a split second and then getting back dressed by the time you turn back around? Like... Think. Like, listen to how that sounds. 
I'm sorry. I maybe I'm tripping. I, I'm. I'll, I'll I'll be back. I'm a. I'm gonna get some water and I'll be back. But uh, wait. Be wow. Hey, I didn't expect you to turn around that fast. You ain't even let me get out the room yet. Hey, hey, listen. It was an accident. Hey, I swear wow. I sucked it on accident. Hey, hey, I, I swear on my mom. How did y'all do it that fast? No, no. Listen, listen. I swear on my mom. It is not what it looks like. I swear. Uh uh. No. No. Cause Trey. 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 Yes. Yes. Mama, mama. Yes. Yes. Hello? Every time, yo. Just can never just tell me what you call him. <laughs> Where am I? Hey, what's up with you, broski? What's up with you? Welcome. Hey, how you doing? Wait, where are you? Yeah, you'll never figure that out. So, yeah, forget about that. Hey, where, where am I? I don't... You're the one and only, boy. I just remember tripping. The one and only. This is heaven! I'm in heaven? Yeah, this is heaven, boy. Welcome. It's beautiful, ain't it? Made it myself. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I did not put that cry in you. Oh, my goodness. You're ugly something, aren't you? I don't remember making you like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you God? Of course, the one and only, Lord and Savior. Yeah. First of all, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I always followed you. Always, always believed it was you. Always believed that they were saying all the other people. I was saying it was you. I was saying it was you. Thank you. I'm number one. But is that the way I had to die? Though? I mean, that's the way I wrote it. So it is. What is that it is. the way? Is this even? Are you sure? Yeah, it's heaven. You got a halo on. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Check it. Yeah. God, this is a tank top. We ran out of halos. I'm sorry. We ran out. You ain't even tied it on me, God. Like, am I just worthless to you? I'm just tripping down steps and I get tank tops. With... Man, listen, listen. You should be happy, man. This is heaven. Just welcome to heaven, man. Live forever. Oh, my God. God, what am I going to tell my mom? She over there. Mom? Hey, Trey. What the hell happened to you? I'm sorry. I did not mean to say hell. I never, I'm going to never say that again. You bet not. I'll never say that again. You bet not. Mom, what happened to you? I was running up the steps to check on you and I tripped. Yeah, broke my neck. Oh, so we just garbage, huh? No, but y'all said God had a sense of humor. Wow. This is crazy. <sighs> so do I get my phone? Yeah, no. I can't use my phone? Yeah, no. No, you can't. I can't use my phone? Man, you better calm yourself down. Well, I get the game, right? I can, I can play the game? Yeah, sure, you can play the game. We got oh, game. We yes, got game. yes. Wait, can I play GTA? Call of Duty? Man, of course not. No. No? No. Wrestling? WWE? No. No? Why I play? You can play The Sims. We play The Sims. Like I mean, Sims. The Sims is kind of fun. Yeah, I like Sims <laughs> myself. I can deal with that. Yeah, I, I play Sims so, I can, life. so So here, after life, we live forever, huh? Yep, eternity. All right, I guess it's cool. I guess it's cool. All right. All right, then, I guess. Yep, go play the Sims. All right. Thank you, God. Yep, rest in paradise. Thank you. I'm just going to go. Hopefully, I don't trip right. Hey, uh, the nurse told me to come in. Oh, hey. You here for the, uh, the prostate exam, right? Okay, uh, just lower your pants and your briefs and uh, we can get started. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Tell me if you feel any pain or discomfort. Do you feel any? Hey, hey, hey stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Okay, sorry. Uh, do you, you feel it? 
You feel any pain? Hey, stop moving. All right. All right, I'm about to go a little bit deeper. Tell me you feel any pain. You feel that? Hey, you feel that? You feel that, little bro? Tell me what you feel. That hurt, little bro? Bay? Bay? Yeah. Um, I have a question. So, like, if I was a worm, would you still have sex with me? <laughs> what? Like, why would I have sex with a worm? It's not just a worm. I'm the worm. The worm is me. So, would you still have sex with me if I was a worm? Or I mean, like, <laughs> how would it even fit? <laughs> like, if you were Okay, do you. What? Hey, hey, bae. What? Okay, so, um... I have a question. Um, if I had herpes, would you still kiss me? What? Like, if my lips was like covered in herpes, like, would you still like kiss me? No. <laughs> okay. Um, Bay. Yeah. So, like, what if me and you was in a house, right? And you was talking to Jesus, and somebody broke in with a gun. Are you saving me or Jesus? Which one are you saving? Hello, hello. Which one are you saving? A nigga break in with a gun and holds a pistol to me and Jesus' head. Which one are you saving? Wow, okay. Okay, you being quiet, so I already know. I already know. You saving Jesus, right? <laughs> okay. Alright. Do you. Caller has been on wait for six minutes. Caller has been on wait for six minutes. Caller has oh. been on wait for um, hello, I'm sorry. This is the Suicide Prevention Hotline. Um, my ex I'm speaking to. <clears throat> Searching for new caller. You are connected. Um, hello, this is the Suicide Prevention Hotline. My ex I'm speaking to. Um, my name is Ethan. Hello, Ethan. Um, my ex, what is your reason for calling here today? Um, I literally have a noose around my neck right mm -hmm. now, getting ready to hang myself. And I was just mm -hmm. unsure whether I wanted to go along with my suicide. And the thing is, the reason I'm suicidal is because of the fact that I'm unsure. Mm -hmm. I've been unsure of every single task my whole life, you know? You see, Ethan, well, I think what would help is if you become more sure of yourself and go through with like the task that you want to do okay because okay. you gotta think about it when you don't go through with a task that you say you're going to do you look at yourself as like a loser like you know a coward and you're not a coward ethan you need whatever you seek in life you need to go through with it mm -hmm. whatever you got in your mind go through with it okay i'll go Just through don't with it. kill yourself <laughs> Searching for new caller. Searching for new caller. You are connected. Um, yes, hello. This is the Suicide Prevention Hotline. My ex I'm speaking to. My name's Nathaniel. Hello, Nathaniel. Uh, my ex, what is your reason for calling here today? I'm calling here because I want to kill myself. Because mm -hmm. I'm being cyber bullied. Everybody just keep bullying me on my social media accounts. And they won't leave me alone. And I just want to kill myself. <sighs> you see. You see. What I think is. Like with the technology I got access today. Like it's no reason to get rid of yourself. When you can get rid of your problem. Uh, I never like, thought of it like that. Like it's so. I believe that it will be much more easier for you to get rid of your problem. To get rid of yourself. Don't you think that? Yeah I think so.
Yeah, see? I'ma get see, rid of his life! Block him. I'ma get rid of his life! No, no, block him. I'ma kill him! I'ma kill him! Oh, what was that sound I just heard? What was that sound I just heard? What, what was... Hello? H hello? Hey, Trey. Hey, Trey. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, man, what's going on? Hey, what's up, man? I see you've been getting a lot of calls. How you been doing? Oh, you know me, man. I'm saving lives. What else could I do? <laughs> of course you have. Man, you are great, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, all right, man. See you around, man. See you all around. All right, man. See you around. A hero. A hero, man. Searching for new caller. You are connected. I miss hello. This is a suicide prevention hotline. My ex I'm speaking to right now. My name is John. Hello, John. Um, my ex, what is your reason for calling here today? I've I've just been feeling lonely. I just everybody walks out on me, mm -hmm. and I just need somebody to talk to. Cause if nobody is here to listen to me, I I feel like I'll kill myself. I just need somebody to listen. You know, you see, John, you don't got to worry about that no more, man. Like, as long as I'm here, you have somebody to listen to. John? Oh. I forgot to charge my laptop. Hey, what's going on, sis? Hey. Why you text me telling me to hurry up and come over? Tyrone left me. What? For real? He left me because I told him I was pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. I literally told him I was pregnant. And then he's just talking about, we're not ready for a baby. We're not ready for a baby. And then I'm like, okay, but I'm still going to have the baby. And then he just decided to leave. Like, wow. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least he ain't leave when you gave birth, right? <laughs> Cause that would that would have been messed up <laughs> if he would have. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, like I told him I was pregnant. He talking about I'm not ready for the responsibility and left. Like you're seriously a deadbeat. You're not ready for the responsibility. Are you serious? Like that's just that's men are trash. Hey, don't don't get mad at me when I say this, but didn't you have like two abortions before? Okay, I did. And now I'm just saying, like, you know, he avoided responsibility because he wasn't ready. Just like you avoided responsibility because you wasn't ready. So it's like, why is it okay for you to avoid it, but not him? Okay, that's not the same. He's avoiding responsibility, and the baby is going to be here. The baby wasn't going to be there then. I mean, he don't really got no choice in that. As he shouldn't. My body, my choice. I mean, okay, if you're going to say that, then shouldn't it be his life, his choice? Like, he made it known to you that he wasn't ready for a kid, so he chose not to take care of it. His life, his choice? Um, He should have thought about that before he came inside me. But what about when you let him come inside before and you still decided to get the abortions? Um, whose side are you on? I called you over here to support me, not to disagree with me. Are you serious? I'm not disagreeing with you. You know, I'm just saying it how I see it. Okay, none of that matters, okay? All I know is that he doesn't want to take care of his kid that's going to be here, so he's a deadbeat. He's a deadbeat dad. Okay, and you had abortions before. Don't that make you like a two-time deadbeat mom? Wow. Or is a deadbeat baby? It was you like a deadbeat mom or was it a deadbeat babies? Cause he's a deadbeat cause he leaving. So wouldn't that make the babies a deadbeat cause they left? I mean, they ain't leave by choice. So it's like a forced deadbeat baby. Is it deadbeat babies or just dead babies? Is it get out of my house? Okay. I'll talk to you later. Wow. Okay, let's get this started. Um, your name is Todd, am I correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, Todd, uh, you did great during the running exam. I just want to say that 
Uh, this is basically the last part of your training. If you get through this, you're hired. Um, so this is basically a situational training, you know. We're going to act out uh, a situation that you would most of the time go through as a police officer, basically to see how you handle it. Um, I'm going to act out a person that went over the speed limit, and you're going to act out the officer, of course. And we're just going to see how you handle the situation, okay? Hey, sounds fine with me. All right, uh, just going to walk up, and I'll start it all off. And wait, 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 one second. Um, I just wanted to just know, just so I can just get this clear. Uh, what is the race of the character that you're playing? What does that guy do with anything? Oh, it's just, I'm just trying to just get into characters. So I just want, you know, just know all the details. Just, I don't know, just to determine how I would act in a situation, you know? You need to know the race to know how you're going to handle the situation? Um, not necessarily. Just, just to, you know, just, just to be more in the moment, you know? I'm just really trying to just get into this just so I can actually feel like I'm actually there. So, what, what's your race? Um, I'm Caucasian. I'm a white male. <sighs> Caucasian. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Caucasian. Okay. All right. I know how to do this. All right. Let's go. Okay. Uh, starting now. Um, hey, officer. Uh, my ass, how come you pulled me over this evening? Uh, of course, sir. Uh, I pulled you over because you was going past the speed limit. <laughs> over the speed limit? I didn't go over the speed limit. <laughs> well, you see, sir, my machine picked up that you went over the speed limit, so... You did go past the speed limit, sir. Oh, well, your machine is wrong. Oh, my machine is wrong? Oh, I'm so sorry for that, sir. Well, we're gonna go actually work on the machine and make sure that it gets better for next time. Uh, but yeah, enjoy your day, man. Um, it's actually a Starbucks around here that you should actually try it out. I really like that Starbucks. And whoa, uh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, Todd, 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 Todd. What are you doing? Wait, what do you mean what I'm doing? I don't, what? Um, you can't just let me control the situation like that. Well, I asked if you went over the speed limit and you said no, so I was just, I believe you, you know, I always, always believe the civilian. Todd, you're supposed to question more than just that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, you, you know, you just, you look so trustworthy as the character, you know, so I just didn't think I had to question any more than that. I, I apologize. How do I look? Okay, listen, Todd, we're just going to try that again. I'm going to play a different character. We're just going to try to approach it differently. Maybe we'll come to a, a different outcome in the end. All right, so let's start. Okay, wait, one second, sir. What is the race of this character? Todd, what, what does that matter? What matters is how you handle the situation. Yes, I know that, sir. But listen, I just want to be completely correct and, and accurate on the situation. I just want to feel like I'm in the moment. I want to feel like I'm actually there. So I just I just need all the details. I'm, I'm sorry, but I just need to know. <laughs> all right, Todd, I'm, I'm, I'm African-American, okay? I'm African-American. I'm black. Gosh, Todd. All right. <sighs> all right, let's start. Um, Hey, officer. Uh, man, how can you pull me over this evening? Did you just say you had drugs in the car? What? No, I said, uh, may I ask, how come you pulled me over this evening? Did you just say that you're not feeling too sober this evening? No, that's not what I said at all. I actually- Put your hands on the steering wheel right now. Put them on the wheel. Okay, let's, let's cut this. Todd, you're, you're not saying the lines that Put I- Put your hands on the wheel. Todd, we're, we're not acting it out no more. I'm Put your hands on the wheel, thug. What What is wrong with you? Like, do you not understand? Why are your lips moving? You trying to grab a gun? How does my lips moving mean I'm gonna grab a gun? You people have big lips. Y'all can do a lot of things. Whoa, what What you mean, you people? Ty, Ty, Ty. Okay, let's, let's slow this down. Before... Stop moving your lips! Ty, who gave you a gun? We gave you a training taser. We did not give you a gun. It's not a gun. It's my taser. No, that is a gun. No, it's my taser. That is not a taser. That is obviously a pistol. It feels like a taser, so it's a taser. Okay, Todd, listen, you're acting way out of hand. Todd, we're going to stop this right Put now. Put your hands on the wheel and open the door while stepping out as you sit Whoa, down. How can somebody even do that? Put do you, your you hands do not understand on the wheel. On right now. This is not stop moving your right. lips. I know you're trying to grab the gun. You can't grab a gun with your lips. Like, why you... Ow! You shot me! Whew. You actually Sir, that was just great shot acting, me. sir. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. It felt like I was there. Oh man. What is wrong with you? So did I pass? You are completely unqualified to become an officer. You got stressed out and you faltered 
in the least stressful situation you could be in. How can we trust you patrolling the streets if you're scared of the community you're supposed to protect? Like, what is wrong with you? I don't get it. Am I hired? Or... Hired? Of course you're hired. <laughs> Man, go grab a badge. <sighs> okay, James, are you ready to get this session started? Yes, doctor. Okay, tell me what's been going on with you this past week. What's been going on in your life? How have you been feeling? <sighs> Man, um, past few days I've just been arguing with my girl because she's mad at me. Why is she mad at you? She's mad at me because she calls me a victim blamer. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And why would she call you a victim blamer? She said that because she came to me telling me that her friend was on the phone crying to her because her boyfriend punched her in the face. And I called her friend stupid. <sighs> James, why would you call her friend stupid? I called her stupid because this has been the seventh time in the past four months that that man has hit her. And every single time she has called my girl talking about it. And then my girl comes complaining to me about it. And do you feel bad for calling her stupid and victim blaming her? No, I do not. I think it's stupid. Like, why does it got to be called victim blaming? Why can't it be called victim accountability? Like, the first time I feel sorry for you, okay? The third time, I'm like, okay, you should call the cops. Seventh time, I'm at least expecting you to duck, nigga. Like, okay, James, how about I give you this scenario? Let's say you have a son, it's a kid seven years old, he's left unattended in the kitchen and the fire's on the stove. Your son is curious. He walks over to the stove, puts his hand on it and burns himself. He comes to you crying, looking for help. Your son is the victim in this situation, James. Now, are you going to care for your son or are you going to sit there and blame him for the situation? If my son saw fire on the stove and touched it and burnt himself and then came to me crying, telling me what he did, after I told him a thousand times not to touch that stove and telling him what would happen, if he still did that, then I'm throwing his whole body on the stove, nigga. I'm starting over. Jesus. Because if you want to be stupid enough to do something and you know what's going to happen, why shouldn't I acknowledge that you're stupid? And then you ask me, would I blame him? Absolutely. You had fun last night? You know I did. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm going to go to the grocery store, but um, I left a pill in the bathroom sink, so you can get it when you get up. Okay, I'll get it when I get up. All right, I'll be back. Okay. All right, I love you. I love you too. All right. Okay, bae. <laughs> what, girl? That is crazy. That hey, is bae. Crazy. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, bae. Oh, yeah, I just got back, and um, I see the pill. It's still in the bathroom sink. You didn't... You ain't take it yet? Oh, yeah, I didn't get it yet. I'm, I'm on the phone right now. Oh, okay, I can just go get it for you. Oh, no, it's okay, babe. I'll just get it when I get up. No, I can, I can get it for you real quick. I'm no, just... no, babe. I'll get it when I get up. <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> I remember. Bathroom from sink. That's where it's at. Okay. <laughs> All right, babe. I'm just going to the room. <laughs> Girl, you are crazy. <laughs> like, seriously, you are. Oh. My God, you just scared me. Oh, hold on, boo. Oh, hey, babe. <laughs> um, I was just calling to check on you and uh, see, did you take the pill yet? That's in the on the bathroom in the, in the bathroom sink. <laughs> uh, no, I'm still on the phone. <laughs> you don't you don't got pee or nothing? You you don't do that no more? What, what what's going on? Um, not right now. 
Okay. All right. All right. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just just checking to see if you did it yet. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be in the room on the game. <laughs> all right. Bye. Um. Yeah. What was you saying? Come down the lane, come down the lane. Hey. hey. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. I don't know what I just tripped on. Oh, my God. Yo, babe, I almost fell. Like, wait, hold on. I think something fell out of my pocket. Uh, Babe, what's that? Something just came out of my pocket. What's, what's that next to you? A pill. A pill? Pillow, pillow is in my pocket. Oh, babe, that was that was a plan B I had in my pocket. <laughs> like, what the hell? <sighs> Hold on, wait a minute. Um, did you take the? Uh, you ever take the plan B that was in the in the bathroom? No, Trey, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> oh, babe, you must just take that since it's right there. You must just you must just take that one since it's right next to you. <laughs> okay, I'll take it in a few minutes. You won't take it now, nigga. Oh my god, are you serious? You're not playing that game no more. All right, go go ahead and pick that up for me. I know you are not pulling out a gun. Just listen, so listen, I listen, I, listen. I ain't trying to hear none of that. All right, go ahead and pick that up. Oh go ahead and pick that god. up. I'm not playing these games no more. Like, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, can I get some water to take the pill? No, you you, you lost that privilege. All right, go ahead and swallow it. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. All right, lift your tongue up. What? No, no. Lift, lift your tongue. I watch SpongeBob. Lift your tongue up. Okay. <laughs> oh, babe. <laughs> Man, that's crazy how that fell in my pocket. Hey, you want to watch a movie? You got on Netflix? Let's watch a movie, babe. Let me chill right next to you. Oh, man. What are you about to watch, baby? <laughs> my little pookie wookie sm All right, go ahead and lay down. Okay. Let me get this off for you. The hell? What? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. You are funny. You, <laughs> yo, how did you get time to do this? <laughs> it looks so real. What the hell? Um, wow, you really wanted to prank. You are funny. You, how the hell? look at it? Like, <laughs> look how it moves. Yo, how do you get it to look so real? <laughs> you are funny. Like, what the? <laughs> The hell? <laughs> How it moves? Oh my god, that! All right, okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's funny. That's funny. Oh my god! All right, you gotta take that off. That's how that looks so real. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's because it is real. <laughs> what you mean that is real? What you mean that is real? <laughs> what you mean that is real? Like, what are you talking about? Um, like, it's attached to me. It's, it's real. Oh, my God. Yo, why didn't you tell me you was a man? Um, okay, that's what we're not going to do. I'm a woman. Like, in the club, like, when I walked over to you, like, and we start kissing, like, it never crossed your mind to tell me that you're not a woman? Um, because I'm not a man. I do not identify as one. I'm a woman. We are not playing that game, okay? Listen, listen. I played the same game when I was a kid, all right? I know. I already understand it. I was running around the house telling my family I was a lion, made them call me a lion. In my head, I really thought I was a lion, but they knew I wasn't, all right? I've been there, okay? I did that. We're not doing that today. Wow. <laughs> you should be put on Twitter. And you should be on a sex offenders list for not telling me you was born a man. Why should I have to tell you if I was born a man? 
you're attracted to females and I am a female. So what is the problem? This nigga crazy. <laughs> like I should, I, I should, I should. You should what, nigga? You should what? Huh? What should you do? What, you, you gonna call the cops? <laughs> you gonna call the cops, nigga? <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna lie. When you flicked my penis the first time, it was kind of funny. The second and third time, I didn't consent. That's rape. So you wanna call the cops? Go ahead. <laughs> What's next? You gonna go on social media and tell them everything? <laughs> They're already on my side before they hear the story. <laughs> so let me tell you what's going to happen, okay? <laughs> Listen, it's either you're doing the bending or I'm doing the bending. All I know, nigga, is that I had seven martinis and somebody's getting clapped tonight. <laughs> so let's do it, my nigga. <laughs> Come on, nigga. <laughs> All right, we got a new member. His name is Trey. Uh, say what's up to Trey, y'all. What's going on, Trey? Hey, welcome to the crew, bro. All right, so Trey, um, I heard you was a good driver. One of the best. That, that's what I like to hear. All right, so as you know, you're the secondary driver. Just in case anything goes wrong, you're going to be the driver. All right, as you know, you know the combination to the vault. You're going to go into the vault, get the money. I'm going to jump across the building with my car, land into your building, drive down, and I'm um, gonna scoop you up. We're gonna be out of there. So we're gonna go wait, through. Wait, the wait, wait, whoa, whoa, bro, bro, bro. What? Wait. What did you just say? I said you're gonna get the money out the vault. I'm gonna jump across the building with my car, land into your building. I'm gonna come pick you up. That's when we're gonna be wait, out of there. Bro, we gonna... How you gonna jump from one building to another in a car? Like, what are you talking about? What you mean? How I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna crash through the window with my car. I'm gonna fly no. across, land, and get. Can't you just pull in front of the entrance and I can come out with the money? Like, listen, man, I'm going to crash through the fifth floor and I'm going to come down to pick you up, okay? How are you going to come down a stairwell oh, and go all the way down to the first floor to pick me up in a car, bro? Like, you're not making sense right now. Like, is this not crazy to y'all? Sounds pretty normal to me. Yeah, man, it's been normal for about the past six movies, bro. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to jump across the building with my car and I'm going to pick you up. So when we leave the building, we might have to drive across the building walls so the cops won't be able to grab us. Um, you might have to actually have to jump out and catch the car just in case I lose balance. Whoa, and, uh, whoa, 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 bro. What, what? How am I going to catch a car, nigga? <sighs> like, Because family. That's how you're going to catch the car. Because family. Yo, who the hell is this? Oh, that's Dom. He's the leader of the crew. I used to say I live my life a quarter mile out of time. Man, I'm not worried about him, y'all. Listen, bro. All I know is that niggas cannot catch cars, yo. Oh that is gosh, not possible. Man. That is not physically possible for a human to catch a car. Bro, you didn't even try. And it's not physically possible for you to jump from a whole nother building to another. Like, come man, on. Man, listen. You're the rookie, bro. Serious? Listen, listen. You're the rookie. All right? We the pros. We did this before. You listen to us. You're going to catch the car and you're going to get inside of it. We got to drive 50 miles in 10 seconds, bro. And that's when you're going to get out the car. You got to run up the building and get the all spark. And when you go up get the, the building... Stop interrupting me. Wait, bro, what did you just say? Yo, what the hell was that? I guess he's finally here. Who's here? Everybody get ready to fight. Fight who? Superman. All right, y'all. Y'all heard the man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, you. Follow me. Let's go. All right, let's go. I'm ready. I used to live my life a quarter mile long. Oh, time. bro, bro, what are you talking about? We're gonna fight. Go get the car, Trey. How am I gonna beat him with a car? Cause we family, Trey. Cause we family. What is this? I used to live my life a quarter mile long. Bro, time. I came here to race, bro. We are gonna race. We're gonna race him to the kryptonite. We gotta be faster than him. So get in my challenger. That's Superman. And we family. Bro, that's Superman. And we family. Hey, you. Come bend over this table. Hey, son, I just wanted to tell you that up. Uh, 
で、で、あ、え、え、あん、あ、さ、あ、さん、listen、I ain't expect us to need to have this talk, but、Dad. listen to me. This is completely normal. All right. Listen, I, I, there was times when I watched gay porn. Okay. There was times. Okay. And I understand that the, 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 uh, the, the jiggle velocity of a, of a man's butt, I understand the confusion it can bring to you about, about your likings, you know? So, son, don't be discouraged, you know, by me walking in, son. Uh, listen, there was times when your mom was asleep. I would get out of bed, go on the roof and watch like 20 videos straight. Now that's just the truth, son. So I understand, okay? And it doesn't necessarily make you gay, son. You just trying to discover what you like, son. And, and I just want you to know, son, if you are gay, I accept you, okay? I accept you, son. Yeah, this isn't gay porn. Like, if you look close, like, he's he's with a female. She just has a short haircut. Look. April Fools! <laughs> hey, hey, son, April Fools! Yeah, it's January. Oh, all right, son. Um, listen, you uh, I was just coming in to tell you. Dinner is done. Yeah, you, uh, you get the plates. You get. I'm gonna get the plates ready. Uh, set the plates all up and stuff. Not, 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 so you yeah, know, yeah, just come down yeah, when yeah, you're ready. But, but you, you, know, you, you gay. know, ready in a, in a few hours, you a gay. week, a month. You know, come down when you're ready, son. You're, you're um, gay. I'm gonna get the juice ready. Uh, what you want? Lemonade or fruit punch? You're gay. All right. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go get that stuff ready right now, son. And uh, I love you. You're gay. I love you. You're gay, son. I, I love you. And I'm telling mom. All right now. All right. Talk to you. Thanks for having me on the podcast, bro. Thanks for having me. <laughs> of course, of course. But hey, Kevin, what you been up to, man? What's been going oh, on in life? Man, you know me, man. Just been working, man. But uh, I just had a baby girl, bro. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah, right over there, my baby mama, bro. Oh, hey, how y'all doing? With my son, too. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, we actually, we did a home birth, bro. We did a home oh, birth. Wow. It was a unique experience, you know. I feel like it, it bonds you more with the child, bro. Like, it was a point where my baby girl, she was stuck in the womb. I had to dive up in that womb. I grabbed my daughter, bro. I jumped right back out, bro. <laughs> you funny as hell, Kevin. No, I'm for real, bro. I'm dead serious. I dove in the womb, grabbed my daughter, bro. <laughs> bro, no, you bro. did not. No, you didn't. Bro, I would not lie to you. Listen, if I'm lying, bro, shoot my daughter in the face, bro. What? Shoot my daughter in the face. I'm lying, bro. Bro, what the hell are you talking about? No, oh, you damn lying. Here. What do you. Shoot my daughter five times in the face. I'm lying, bro. You serious? Shoot her five times in the face. I'm lying and spit on her. Why would you want me to do oh, that? You damn lying. You damn lying, bro. Shoot her in the face five times, bro. No, I'm, her I'm her not going to do that, but you lying. You heard me? Are you seriously about to go this far? Liar, like, no, I'm not going to do that. Hey, what is hey, wrong with cut you? Cut my son head off if I'm lying, bro. Cut my son head off and throw it at the wall if I'm lying, bro. Here. Take the knife. Cut my son head off if I'm lying, bro. Then throw it at the wall and catch it. All right, bro. You're not lying. You're not lying. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're telling the truth. Okay, then. then. I'm not a liar, then. Kill my kids, bro. Slaughter my kids, bro.